talk about a troubling situation involving this abandoned dog left at the Charleston Animal Society. The North Charleston Police Department tells us they're involved in an ongoing investigation into the case. Meanwhile, the North Charleston based shelter still working to heal the ailing dog and educate the public. Basically late in the evening, um, long after our staff had left. This young female dog was left overnight in a box behind the gate at the Charleston Animal Society. The shelter says it happened last Thursday evening. The dog wasn't found until the next morning when staff returned. It was before it got super cold, um, but this, this dog was in need of immediate medical attention. A police report filed with the North Charleston Police Department says the dog, possibly a French bulldog, was suffering from a serious intestinal issue. The department says the situation is under investigation, noting that three people in a pickup truck may be involved, even if the drop-off was with the best of intentions. Sort of the right thing, you know, sought help, but if there's no one there to care for the animal, it's, it's really, it's sort of, you, you tried, but it wasn't exactly what needed to happen. The dog needed to be taken to an emergency clinic or brought to the shelter when it was open, says a shelter spokesperson. What makes things more frustrating? The dog abandoned feet from a sign, warning of the cruelty of such an act, which is also illegal. I would say this falls under failure to provide necessary uh, medical attention or veterinary care. Um, leading to unnecessary pain and suffering. Per state law, abandonment happens when the dog is left without finding them a new home, or what the law refers to as necessities of life. If the dog had been left the following night, that would have been around 10 hours in below freezing weather. Leaving an animal outside of an animal shelter like that is, is not how to seek help. The dog has been nicknamed Betty by the staff, and they say her condition is improving, thankfully. According to Roman, there have been some setbacks, but with ongoing care, Betty should be fine. Roman says it's too early to determine if Betty will be adopted out in the future. Bringing joy to hospital rooms. That's the mission of MUSC's pet therapy program. Patients can request dogs to visit them to help brighten their day. Our Kennedy Buck tagged along with one of the newest therapy dogs who is just a little bit different than the rest, and he's still putting smiles on people's faces. Superhero by day. And a regular dog by night. Yeah, he's really fast. Wilbur, one of the newest pet therapy dogs, may have three legs, but that doesn't stop him from making an impact. Um, last year he was diagnosed with osteosarcoma, which is bone cancer, and um, so he's, he's a tripod, you can't really tell because he's laying down on that side, but um, we received a lot of love and support when um, we were going through that, and I thought it'd be a really wonderful way to give back to the community to get Wilbur certified and to dress him up in these little outfits and take him around the kids that would, I think, really appreciate having a dog that would be a good role model and would look cool even though he only has three legs. Even though Wilbur is new to the pet therapy program, he has a natural gift of helping others. And we just stop by and say hi to the kids. They pet him, um, they ask about him, I tell him about how he used to be a racer and how he gets around with his three legs and how he's super fast and really brave and strong and he really enjoys it. And patients are always excited to see the visiting superhero. <laughs> nice to see you. Oh, this is nice to see you too. You're gonna pet him all? You did? Sure. You gonna pet him? Okay, you can pet him. Catherine Rodriguez says she loves being able to share Wilbur with the world and her hope is that he continues to inspire others. So that it's really it's really neat to be able to do something and provide that type of support and that little bit of joy to uh, the families that, that need it.